Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can create a flawless complexion with almost any foundation. I'm going to share two tips with you today that's going to help your foundation look more natural, a lot smoother, and it's going to avoid any cakiness or texture on your foundation. So the first tip is cleansing and moisturizing your skin. I really love using the Philosophy Purity Made Simple in the morning and at night. It really helps to deep clean my pores, but it also hydrates my skin at the same time. All right, for a moisturizer, I love using the Mario Badescu Buttermilk Moisturizer. It has a lightweight formula that helps to minimize fine lines and wrinkles and it also really helps to revitalize dull skin. My second tip is what you use to apply your foundation. So there's different things that you can use to apply your foundation. You can use a stippling brush, you can use a foundation brush, I also have a flat top synthetic brush and a angled synthetic brush. Brushes like that just don't work well for me because I have combination skin which means that my t-zone is oily and my cheeks are dry. So the friction that the brush creates on my face makes it so the foundation is laying on top of my skin instead of it looking more natural and it being pressed into my skin. If you have dry skin or combination skin then brushes are going to really emphasize the dry patches that you have when you're applying foundation. There isn't really one foundation out there that's perfect because I really feel that probably about 70% of the foundations that are out there, whether they're high-end or drugstore, are good foundations. It really just has to come down to how you apply it to your specific skin type. So what I have found works the best for me has been the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and it retails for about $5.99 at Ulta. So this sponge has really worked well for me because it really presses the foundation into the skin and it makes it look really natural. Alright, so the sponge has a flat edge that you can use to apply it for your cheeks your chin and also your forehead and then the other end you can use to blend out concealer or to get into the small areas of your face so that way all your foundation looks even and it just looks really well put together. Alright so here comes the fun part I'm going to show you how I apply my foundation using this sponge. The first thing that I'm going to do is put the sponge in water for about five seconds. Now I'm gonna just keep squeezing it until most of the water gets drained out. I'm gonna take a towel and just put my sponge in there and try and take out any more of the excess water. I'm gonna begin by priming my face with the Too Faced Prime and Poreless Primer. I'm taking my foundation and putting two pumps on my hand and I'm gonna just put three dots on my cheek. sure that I am pressing the foundation and not rubbing it around or swiping it. I'm making sure that I'm pressing it into my skin. And I'm going to make sure to avoid the under eye area because I'm going to be putting some concealer and I don't want that area to cake up. Alright, I just went ahead and finished putting on some of my makeup since I'm going to be going out today. No, I'm not. I'm not going to be going out today. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit, that way you can see um, the foundation and that way you can just see everything a little bit more up close. So as you can see, none of my foundation looks cakey so far. <laughs> Hopefully not though. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope that this video helped you, and if you found it useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe so that way you can see anytime that I post any videos that I'll be having in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!